Hey everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitzenberger. We're here at PRI, Performance Racing Industry Show, with my friends from Vortex Superchargers, including this guy right here, Lance Keck. Now, Lance, one of the great things about Vortec is you've just celebrated 25 years in the industry. It's got to be a great feather in your cap to celebrate that milestone and everything that you've done over the years. Talk about some of the accomplishments that you guys have enjoyed over the years with forced air induction. Uh, it is, Dennis. We've, uh, we continue to push the envelope on air movement. Um, some of the, the new accomplishments to the V30 is the compressor side of things where we have some new type of technology which includes uh, what we're calling NTT, uh, nano tolerance technology, where we have a patented process that we can decrease the clearance from the impeller to the volute, which uh, improves performance and also improves efficiency. Well, talk about some of the things we were you were showing it off to me about as far as, you know, when you look at that, it's like a big Venturi and a carburetor, and you think you can't reinvent the wheel when you guys take it one step closer to being almost perfectly efficient. Talk about some of that technology of moving that air in there and how close the tolerances are. Um, the tolerances uh, vary depending on the size of the compressor wheel. Um, what we want to try to do is decrease that distance so that we can improve the performance of the unit. The better the efficiency, the more improvement that you can make to the efficiency of the compressor um, decreases drive power, which can translate into uh, lower fuel consumption numbers. Well, let's talk about the application for this particular unit. Now, this is called the V30, and they have your race edition here. Talk about the applications be specific for the V30. Uh, the, the V30 has a wide range of applications from offshore boat racing to uh, land speed. What's going to be the best way for someone to take advantage of something like a Vortex Supercharger as far as even developing their engine? Is there certain parameters that you want your engine builders to kind of look at as far as how your product will work with a basic combustion engine? We have some resources that we've developed um, where we can take engine size, engine RPM, air consumption, fuel consumption, and tailor a compressor to just about any combination. What kind of normal horsepower and torque increases can we see on something like the V30? Um, you can see as much as a, you know, a 400 horsepower depending on the compressor, um, and obviously uh, depending on the engine combination itself. All right, well, Lance, you know what? There's one thing that all of us love, and that's putting more air into our air pump so more air will come out so we can all make more horsepower and go faster. But if people want more information about what you're doing over at Vortex Superchargers, where do they go? VortexSuperchargers.com. You heard them. VortexSuperchargers.com. We're here at PRI. We'll see you in the next video.